สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Annie and uh, welcome to Annie Takes on Thai. Um, uh, I'm going to show you how to make Pad Thai. Okay. Pad Thai is one of the street food in Thailand. You can find Pad Thai everywhere, a lot of places in Thailand. And they cook differently. They have their own different recipe. But um, today we're going to show the way I grew up with. We're going to start with the ingredient. On the Pad Thai noodle itself, just the rice noodle. And the rice noodle we have it here, I use the dry package. They have the fresh one, which you can't find so much around here. And the dry one you find at every oriental store. It's gonna come in a package like this. And it's gonna call Jan, uh, Jan Taburi, which is the province in Thailand, noodle. And it's gonna a little bit yellow because it's dry. And you're gonna soak this guy in the cold water. And then you soak until it's become white like this. And you don't want to soak longer than that because it's, we're gonna cook it. And so after you cook it, if you soak it too long, it's gonna become mush. And so you, you want to soak just until it's become white. I probably say about hours or two. And then on there, we're gonna have like a protein, which is uh, today we're gonna do with chicken and shrimp. And then we have the sweet radish, like a pickle, they preserve radish, and then uh, they chop it up. And so they have two different kinds though. They have the salty one and they have the sweet one. And you want to pick the sweet one because the salty one, boy, yeah, a pretty strong flavor on the salt and the dry shrimp. Garlic and a shallot. This is uh, what we use. Garlic leaf, that's what uh, is a common use in Thailand. Here, sometimes people can use substitute for the yellow uh, green onion, which is uh, they're not so much different. This one have deeper flavor and uh, have like a hinge of spice into it because it's come from the garlic plant. I like color, so I put a little bit of shred carrot in there just to give a nice contrast. Um, and this is the tofu. This is the, they call pressed tofu. They're harder than uh, regular tofu. You can use the, just the um, regular fo firm tofu, but because you're gonna stir fry in there, if you're gonna use the firm tofu, you want to cut it in a small piece and you want to fry it first. So when you stir fry into your dish, it doesn't go mush. That's the Pad Thai sauce and you can keep in the fridge for a long time because it's all the ingredient is just like a fish sauce and then uh, the tamarind so they can keep for a long time in the, in the fridge. And of course the oil and the egg. And uh, in Thailand sometimes a lot of Pad Thai they don't have, they didn't put the egg in there. But egg is make, give us a nice and creamy flavor to it. And so I like egg in my Pad Thai. Of course in a peanut crush just for garnish. And some people use lamb and vinegar just to dressing out. Before we cooking, we want to get everything prepared. So that's why when we cook, we don't have to stop. So, so I put the pan on. And I'm gonna put a little bit oil on so I can saute my garlic and onion. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of my sweet radish in there. Not so much. Just a little. They're quite sweet and salty. And the tofu. Can you smell it? I'm gonna put a little bit of this dry shrimp in there. You have like a it's a hint of salty in there on the shrimp. You get this, just keep bubbling. Okay, now everything sizzling. Now I'm gonna put the chicken in there first. Chicken about halfway cooked, not all the way, and they're gonna add the shrimp in there because first of all, the shrimp is like a lot cook a lot faster. So we don't want to, never ever want to overcook the shrimp because it's become chewy. We want it nice and crispy and sweet. So, 
Now my chicken, see that? It's all look a little bit white now, halfway. So now I'm gonna add the shrimp in there. So I'm gonna cook the shrimp until it's about, it's gone pink, but not all the way cooked. Just to give the nice flavor into my pan. So when the shrimp start curl it up, now my shrimp is start cooking. So when it start gone pink, I gonna pull it out because I don't want to overcook my shrimp, and I gonna put it back in at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna put my noodle in. And you want to cook your noodle and let it soft up before you put the sauce in. Because the salt and then uh, the sugar in the sauce, sometimes when you put it in too soon, your noodle is stop softening it up. So, and you can, you can see when it's soft down, the color of the noodle is gonna change. You can see it's a little bit brown, a little bit created up, so you know that uh, your noodle is ready for the sauce. Now we're gonna put the sauce in. Like the strong flavor, so I put a little bit more sauce. So I'm gonna pull my noodle to the side to put the egg in, and I'm gonna dissolve my oil just a little bit so the egg it doesn't stuck into the pan just a little and then we're gonna knock this egg in Whap. one more might as well Now I'm gonna put the trim back in. This is like, it look like the egg is all cooked nicely. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of carrot, just to nice color. Some of the bean sprout, I have it here. I mean the garlic. Leaf and stir it in. There it goes. And that's it for the pad thai. All right, now we can press this guy up. Look at that. This is the. Uh, Look at that. The finished products of Pad Thai. And then uh, thank you for um, joining us on Te any Take on Thai. So please like us on Facebook and uh, or give us a review on Yelp or you know, subscribe on the YouTube. And uh, we'll see you next time. Kapkun ka.